got another muzzle device test here. This one's got some pretty snazzy features. It is a 3D printed, entirely 3D printed uh, device. So we'll go over some of the features of it, what I think of it overall, and uh, try to do a little low light testing as well just to show you what it does. It's not designed to be a flashlighter, but we'll do it anyway because that's what we do here. And uh, that'll pretty much be it. But for now, we'll keep setting some rounds down range. Next thing I'm going to try to send a few rounds down range here relatively rapidly. Try to keep the muzzle on track. I'm going to play it back here in slow motion so you guys can get an idea of just how that muzzle is actually moving on there. So we'll see what we can do. As I mentioned earlier, this thing's not designed to be a flash hider, but we'll go ahead and see what kind of uh, signature we get out here at night. Right now we're running some 5.45 uh, Red Army Standard ammo in there, so this is probably a worst case scenario in terms of the flash signature that you're going to get out of this rifle. So, check down range, the target is clear. Earlier in the video I mentioned that this is 3D printed and the reason it's 3D printed is because uh, the way it's designed apparently it just cannot be uh, CNC'd or milled out. And uh, taking a look at it in the pictures that you see here you'll notice that there is two different chambers in there yet it is still approximately the size of your A2 birdcage that you see here. Actually it's pretty much exactly the same size as your A2 birdcage. And there's two different chambers in there very similar to what you'd see on some AK brakes but the walls within there are so thin that it doesn't allow for CNC machining or milling at least according to the manufacturer now I'm not a metallurgist I don't know just taking their word for it another thing you notice when you look through there is that those ports are all forward facing and that's kind of in my opinion at least in my experience one of the biggest advantages of this brake if you're going to use it is that that directs the blast away from you so while it's relatively small as you see here it directs that blast forward in a way that most brakes that are this uh, size just can't do unless they're sort of linear comps which as we all know those offer a different set of issues that come along with them in terms of recoil um, but very effective at that and a very unique little package in terms of performance and innovation this brake does an excellent job it does a good job keeping blast forward uh, there certainly still is blast no doubt about it but it is forward of the shooter so the majority of the blast that you hear feel around you as the shooter or if someone was next to you is mitigated by the design so good job there but the reality is during this review there's been a gigantic elephant in the room the whole time and that elephant is going to be cost these suckers right now come to market at right around $300 now it's extremely expensive for a muzzle brake but they seem to be quite durable uh, as you guys have seen here this uh, this brake's got some wear on it and the reason it is is because this is the actual one that was used for uh, recoil magazines article written about this so if you guys read that article this is the exact brake um, so it's got a ton of rounds through it uh, in addition to what I put through it so it does a good job in terms of performance and it seems to be a durable uh, innovative material with the ink canal and the 3d design uh, supposedly gives it advantages that cannot be gotten from traditional machining processes. Now, the owner of the company, I talked to him before this review, and he stated that he hopes to, in the future, as the 3D technology um, matures, the cost will come down. But right now, with the cost of the product, he said he just can't make them any cheaper. So, it is what it is. I know there's other brakes out there that are over $300. So, while it seems expensive to a lot of you out there, there are folks that are clearly paying it for other models out there as well as this one because it's a business so someone's obviously buying them but expensive product it works well if you're looking for something innovative it's something to take a look at but if you guys have any other questions about this break anything else i talk about here on the channel you can feel free to post below in the comments section if you guys don't have a youtube account get one number one and subscribe and uh, if you don't have one you can post over at my facebook page but thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and i'll be seeing you in the next video